I think steroids are as American as apple pie. Dang it! You're watching Muscle Ford Magazine. Hey, what's going on, guys? Alright, it's me. Right, hey, look, check it out. I'm right next to a. Here, <laughs> I'm right next to a porta potty. Right here. I don't know. I'm right next to a porta potty. Right there. So in case I gotta go to the bathroom, <laughs> it just happens to be a coincidence, guys. I'm sitting in a fucking park. Okay. You know, girlfriend's uh, my girlfriend's at the doctor, and there's everybody. These people keep coming all over the place. I hate this fucking shit. Can't even do a video. People fucking up my ass. I'm going to get to the training stuff, guys. I've been really busy. I've been doing some filming and shit like that, okay? Relax. Like I said in the other fucking video, I just did five fucking Nissan commercials. That's nothing. I got so much other shit. I think my Generation Iron film is coming out soon. Uh, you know, they filmed a long time ago with me. Um, you know, I've been doing a lot of shit. So you got to give me a little bit of fucking time. Uh, by the time I go to the gym... Is you know I, it's, I go I work out at like fucking three four in the morning and it isn't because I wake up that early it's because I've been up all night and shit and I don't sleep all right so anyway I'm gonna talk to you today about something that's very very important and I'm about to give you a story it's kind of a fucked up story okay no it's a, you know you might find some of it funny but it's not really funny you know what I mean it's it, I want you it's more of a lesson I want you to learn a lesson I gotta tell you the lesson until after the story's done. Okay, so check this shit out. Stay with me when you're done. You know, let's watch the whole video, and we'll get to you know we'll get to the nitty gritty. So my my friend, my childhood friend Joe passed away. All right, we're like brothers together. You know, I mean, we even slept in the same bed when we were kids. We, you know, he was my boy, man. I love him like a brother. All right, my he was a brother to me. All right, he was he was a biker. He was a bad dude. He was a tough guy, and uh, we you know we've been in many fucking brawls together since we were little boys. He was like a hell's angel. He was a bad dude, man. He was a very bad dude. Okay. Anyway, so he died. He died of cancer, and uh, I saw him. A but a couple of days in the hospital before he died, I was in the hospital, and I was very emotional, you know, because this was very, he's very close to me, you know, and he passes away. So we're at the funeral, and at the end of the day, you know, they kept, it was a closed casket because he didn't look too good when he died, all right? So at the end of the day, they opened the casket so the mother, the father, his sister, and his children didn't want to see. They kept they kept his children out of out of the thing. They didn't they didn't want to see him. They wanted to remember him the way it was. So and, so it was me, my and my girlfriend, uh, you know, with the parents and his sister and her husband. So we're over there and we open up the casket, you know, and the mother, everybody goes up, and I'm the last one to go up. And as I go up, I start, you know, I, I start shaking and shit, and I, you know, I'm crying. And, uh, you know, he's like snotting and fucking crying and, you know, snotting on, you know. And my eyes were so teary, I couldn't really see much, you know. So as I'm done, I'm hugging him and I'm kissing him and, I, you know, Joey, fucking Joey, you know, like that kind of shit. As I get up and I walk away, I look over and I notice my girlfriend and, and, and the mother were like <gasps> horrified. Horrified, right? So... I, I look, and they, they're like in a panic. I turn around, and I look at my friend Joey, and he's laying there, drenched with blood all over him. All over his face, all over the fucking coffin, all over the fucking inside lining of the fucking, you know, this casket was white. It was drenched. Uh, when I say drenched with blood, I don't mean like a splat. I'm talking about blood everywhere drenched like like Carrie in the movie Carrie when her face was all drenched and everything with all the blood that's what it looked like exactly like that it was that bad so then I realized oh my god I had it what it was was when I was crying I was crying so hard alright that I had a bloody nose 
and the blood was fucking everywhere. I mean, it, I was drenched with blood. I didn't know, because it was hot, and it was, you know, I was crying, you know, you're getting all emotional, and I didn't realize. I thought, you know, I'm just thinking I'm sweating and crying and sweating and snotting. But it was, so blood. So the, 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 the guys from the, um, from the, from the Clark's funeral home, they're not used to that shit. You know, they, didn't, they never had anything like this happen. And they're coming over with fucking Windex bottles, spraying his face. Shh, 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 like this, with Windex. Pray my fucking friend's dead body with Windex. He's dead, and you fucking spraying him with Windex in the face because I fucking bled all over him. And my the father goes, holy shit. He goes, just leave it there, let it be, leave him alone, because it's symbolic. Because Greg and him were like brothers together. It's symbolic. It was, you know, he, you know, the, it, 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 they, we were like blood brothers, bro. But I mean, the mother's over there with Windex. My girlfriend's over there, holy crap! You know, they were, you know, wiping his face down, and she was Windex. Fuck, wiping my dead, my friend's dead body with Windex because I bled all over his face. I felt like a fucking Momo, bro. I, I, that, that's a fucking Momo move. It was embarrassing to me. I was mortified. It's a true story. I'm getting at something, so. Fucking don't turn this shit off. Don't be a fucking momo. Anyway. So finally, you know, th they realize, like, we can't even get this blood out. I mean, it, you know, it's in a casket. I mean, it's in a white lining in a casket. As well as all over him. So, they close up the casket. And, you know, they, they you know, I go, I go downstairs. There's a bathroom downstairs. And I, I just cannot stop this blood. I could not stop. This blood, bloody nose. I mean, Dad, I held up the whole fucking funeral parlor because I'm the one who was the main pole bearer, you know. I, I They wanted me because I was his brother, you know what I mean? Anyway, so... Sorry, sorry about that, guys. I know, I'm spitting on the camera, bro. You gotta understand, I just ate some fucking... I was over at Mrs. Green's. I just ate some fucking cashews over there. And I did the fucking Latin thing. My girlfriend does that shit all the time. You know, you fucking shop and stuff. Oh, you know, my girlfriend would be over there opening up fucking, oh, grapes. You know, fucking popping grapes in her mouth. Somebody leaves open an open bag of fucking, like, potato chips. She's sticking her fucking hand in there eating that shit. I don't do that. But, you know, they have, over at Mrs. Green, they got all these fucking different kinds of varieties of nuts. So I stuck my fucking grimy hand in there, and I fucking ate some fucking peanut, some fucking cashews, and now I'm spitting grit out. Like, you know, every fucking five seconds, I'm like, you know, spitting out little fucking grit and shit like that, you know. Because whenever you eat the nuts, it's like that shit, you know. So I don't eat popcorn. Go to a movie's fucking hour after the movie, I'm still out there picking the teeth, spitting it every five fucking seconds. Anyway, so forgive me if I start spitting on the fucking camera. I'm Italian, first of all. We spit when we talk. We fucking, you know, we pick our nose. We do all this fucking... You know, that's the way we do shit. You know what I mean? It's a fucking... I'm a New York Italian. All right? New York Italians are different. You know, New York, New Jersey, uh, you know, we're all the fucking same. We're, you know, we're fucking... We're guinea bastards. But anyway, so forgive me if I'm spitting while I'm talking. All right? The problem was, is that I was taking too much... Pre-workouts. I was flying all the time. And it brought my blood pressure up high. And I was warned a long time ago by Robbie Durand, who was the editor for Muscle, Muscular Development, all right, is now with Infinite Labs, and he does write with us at Muscle Sport Mag. But I was warned by him because he's a genius with, like, the supplements and everything. And he told me, dude, you got to stop with all the pre-workout shit, man. It's bad. All those things that jack you up, you know, and amp you up, and all those, like, f you know, fucking things that ignite the shit out of you. You gotta fucking be careful with that shit. Because it will raise your blood pressure. And it make your heart fucking beat really bad. And I'm just trying to give you guys... Wait, hold on. Here's a fucking... Oh, my God, bro. Some fucking... I, dude, let me tell you something. I love skinny girls. And this girl's like a model. They got that look, you know what I mean? Those long legs. I love skinny fucking girls. Other girls, dude, I love, I love, that girl's a piece of ass. Oof. Anyway, my girl's skinny too, so relax. Anyway, you know, the bottom line is, guys, I'm trying to convey to you. I'm bleeding all over my dead friend's face. And, and, and they're over there fucking with Windex trying to wipe that shit off. You know my story. 
Oh, uh, you know, it's kind of embarrassing that that happened to me, especially with a guy, you know, who was like a brother to me. But anyway, all right, guys, listen. So now, here's the thing. I'm not telling you that you can't use pre-workouts. They have their place. But when you have one of these things that just fires you up, you know, you know what I'm talking about, one of these things, you know, that... You know, there's small little packets like this. Sometimes you get, like, the samples and everything, all right? Those kind of things are made to just amp you up. They're loaded with caffeines and stimulants and everything, and you have to be careful, all right? I was getting bloody noses before that. That wasn't my first blood. I used to get bloody noses, you know, a lot. You know, for no reason. I'd just be sitting there like, this is all some blood just so pouring down, okay? And when I get them, they don't stop, all right? Knock on wood. I ain't getting them right now. But here's the thing, okay? I would get so amped up. I would actually take it in the morning. I was taking pre-workouts just to like, you know, like, oh, fuck, I'm tired when I wake up in the morning. Take a pre-workout. Oh, fuck, I'm doing it. You know, my daughter got a lacrosse game or my daughter got a basketball game. My daughter plays uh, lacrosse in college and, ba and basketball in college. But, I mean, like, you know, I'd go take a friggin' pre-workout. You know, I always taking pre-workouts. So I was, I was overdoing it. All right? Plus, I was taking, you know, I was taking some in tablet form. But what I'm trying to tell you guys, okay, is this. What you got to do is you got to be responsible. Now, look. Check it out, right? When you get one of these little things, first you fill it halfway. Okay? You fill this halfway. Then, I don't use a shaker. I put it in a bottle like this. This is what I use. I don't like shakers. I don't know why. I don't fill it. I just don't like shakers. I drink out of this. This is my shaker here. Okay, so I will take, actually, you know, here, look, I actually got Siege here, it's not that I like that, guys, it's just a sample, I'm not promoting that shit, or anything. I got C4, I got, I got a million things in a box over here, but anyway, I'll start off with half, okay, you got that, half, and then I'll put it in my drink, alright, check it out, right, if you're doing it right now, in front of you, I'll put it right in the drink, I usually use a little funnel, because I get shit everywhere, alright, but I put it right in my drink, all right, and then, you know, shake it up, there it is, there's your fucking, there's your siege, okay? Now, I'll sit and I'll drink that before the workout, as I know, like 45 minutes before the workout, I'll start drinking. But I won't drink the whole thing, think about it, this whole big thing here, all right, it's only got half of a serving, and... It's already, you know, it's so it's diluted. So, and if I drink just even a couple gulps right now, watch. All right, I drink a couple gulps. That's it. Okay, I start with that. It's a half a serving in this whole thing of water. And look, it's still a lot in here. And I'll wait and I'll let it come on a little bit. Ah, I'm starting to get the buzz, you know, like that kind of thing. And if I if I feel I need more, boom, I drink some more. All right. And I keep doing that until I feel I'm ready. If I feel like I drank this whole thing and I still need more, I will take a, another half or even a quarter, okay, of this, of a serving. Because if you read these things, even on these little things that you guys get at these expos, this shit, on the back it'll tell you there's two servings. And this is two servings, okay? This little bit of powder, which is right here, that's two servings. It's not a lot. This is even less. All right, it's siege, right? It's even less. It's two, there's two servings. It's like that much, all right? So half of that is one serving. So half of that is what I want you guys to use. Because you got to understand something. Not only does it raise your heart rate, you know, but it, it gets you to the point where I was actually getting almost like a withdrawals from the shit. You know what I mean? Like if I didn't have it, I would start craving. I would get like these shakes and almost like a cold sweat and stuff, you know? And it fuck a bloody nose. It's not good, all right? You can't watch these guys on the internet, especially guys that own supplement companies telling you, I like to take three scoops. And you see them dumping three scoops, maybe in a water jug or a shake or whatever. Dude, there's no way that they're drinking three scoops of shit like that and not fucking getting, like, you know, bugging out, all right? I'm telling you, don't do that.
That's stupid. You bring it on. I could always stop. If I take another sip of it, boom, and now I feel like I'm fucking starting to really fly a little bit, that's it. I shut it down because I, I reach what I need to do. You don't need to take so much because if you get overamped, you know when it's like fucking overamped? Sometimes you almost get tired too from being overamped. All right? Which is weird. If you get overamped, right, it's no good. It's no good. All right? That's being a fucking momo. All right, then it's, shut. it's not good. You just want to feel good and strong, just enough energy. That whole jack stuff, oh, dude, I'm like fucking jab. I know. I like to feel up. I like to fly, but I, I want to fly mellow, though. You know what I mean? I don't want to be like fucking lit, you know, or any of that shit. All right? I'm just trying to help you guys. I'm just telling you, watching these guys on the internet, and they're throwing three scoops of this and two scoops of that and fucking more. Don't do that. That's stupid. Okay? That's being a fucko. Alright? Don't do that shit. Don't watch what these guys do. Okay? First of all, some of them own supplement companies, so they're trying to get you. You know, obviously, the more you take, the better it is for them. You know, if you're hooked on their supplement. And enough of all these things, this shit, this shit. There's a little difference. I got, listen, dude, let me tell you something. I got, you know, I got shitloads. I got a little, I got fucking, I mean, I got bags of that shit. All different kinds of fucking... You know, I, I got them all. You know what I mean? You name them, I got them. You know, fuck, I... Anyway, what I'm trying to tell you is, to me, they're all the fuck the same. They're all the same. This is some a little different. One makes you fly a little bit more. This one's got a little more citrulline in it. This one's got a little bit more of that in it. This one's got a little bit of this. Oh, this one makes you... Dude, they're all... in, the, in the end of the day, I just need something to fucking keep me fucking, you know, feeling good, feeling up. That's all I need. I don't need all these other... Because... It it, 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 that's, you know, it's, otherwise it's bullshit. All right, I'm just trying to help you guys out. Dude, I had to learn the hard way. Bl bleeding all over my fucking friend's face. All right, was not a good thing. It was, it was an embarrassment to me. You know, I'm lucky his family, like, you know, they love me. You know what I mean? And like I told you, his father said it's symbolic. They were, they were blood brothers, those two. You know, we got a, bro, we used to get brawls together, fuck girls together. You know what I mean? From when we were little boys. You know what I mean? We did a lot of shit together, bro. Let me tell you something. You don't know. So it was symbolic. My blood is forever with him. You know what I mean? But, you know, I, I, it, it, I didn't want to, you know, it wasn't a planned thing. Uh, don't, guys, I don't want you guys to give yourselves a heart attack. All right? That's what I'm telling you. Be careful. I know a lot about this shit. This shit is no joke. All right? It's the real deal. So be smart. Start off with small dosages, and you can always build upon it. Take a few sips, see how it hits you. Take a few more, a little like, you know, 10 minutes later, see how it hits you. Take a few more, until you say, okay, I'm there I am. This is where I want to be. That's all you need. All right? And you'll get a lot more than fucking, this, this shit will last you a lot longer. Okay? Not for nothing, but if you're taking half the serving, or even less, and you're... F you're feeling good, and you're feeling strong, and, and awake, and, you know, enough to work out. You don't want to be going to the gym like this, because then it's almost counterproductive. You take one-fourth of that. You start off with half, at best. You can always add, but if you're flying bad, or you fuck yourself up, you can't subtract. Always start with less is more. Even with steroids, guys. Well, we're going to talk more about the steroids, too. But less is more. So you don't really need 90% of the shit that's in there. You want to feel good. You want to feel strong. I could take a fucking just a caffeine pill. A good caffeine pill. And I'll fucking be fucking lit and fucking just a You know, they show all the other stuff in here. You know what it does? Makes your fucking burp, you know what I mean? Gives you the shit bubble. Burp, you know, and that's in your fucking... Everything is really shit bubble, but you know what I'm saying. I'm trying to help you guys. That's all, bro. I'm trying to help you guys. There's no reason for that shit. I don't want you guys having a heart attack. Okay? It's not good. You might not think so, but trust me. The way I bled all over my fucking friend, that, that was fucked up. All right? It could happen to any one of you fucking guys. Not everybody gets bloody noses. I did, but that doesn't mean you're going to get a bloody nose. You may get something different. You know? All right? And you can't tell me if you took a lot of this shit. You don't run, you know, before you go to go to that gym, it makes you, you know what I mean? You can't tell me that shit bubble don't hit you. Because it fucking, it's, it's, most of my friends all tell me the same thing. Dude, I take that shit, before I go to the gym, I fucking gotta shit my brains out. Your heart's fucking beating too fast. You don't want that. You want to fly. You want to feel good. You want to coast. You don't want to be up there. But you don't want to be like fucking rocket ship to the moon. That's no good. Okay? Hey, listen, guys. Again. 
I ain't fucking with no supplement company. Alright? I gotta buy my fucking... I buy my pre-workouts, bro. I buy all my stuff. I buy them from Walmart. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna lie. Alright? So I'm not here pushing any of that shit on you. Or anything. I'm just telling you, be responsible. Be responsible when you take that shit. Okay? If training videos are coming, stop breaking my fucking balls. Holy shit. I know you guys want to train. Alright? I know that. I get it. I'm going to train. You know what I'm I have two fucking... I got to sit in a car. I'm not always going to be a floating head and shit fucking bouncing around in here. It's, it's not going to happen. You're going to see me, you know, the whole me and shit fucking... I'm going to demonstrate how to do fucking exercises correctly. It's going to change a lot of shit. You have no fucking idea. Most of you people don't know what the fuck you're doing. You think you know, but you don't. Okay? And I'm going to do that. I love you guys, dude. Please. Just stick with me. Give me, you know, stick by me here. Okay? Don't forget to subscribe. It makes me feel like I got to do these things. It forces me to do this. You get no subscribers, you're like, who gives a shit? Nobody wants to fucking see my ass anyway. Anyway. Thanks a lot. Stop fucking around. Be responsible, whatever you do. Go take your girl out to a nice dinner. Stop fucking being a momo, okay? Don't be a fucking meathead. Chicks don't like meatheads, bro. Chicks don't like meatheads. Do the right thing. And if you got kids, fucking spend some time with your kids, you selfish cocksucker who's in the gym. All right? I love you guys. I'm trying to help you. Subscribe. Go to musclesportmag.com.